In today's video, we've curated a list of 18 must-have new Fallout 4 mods that will elevate your gaming experience, covering factions, animations, rifles, outfits, visuals, and more. Whether you're looking to enhance your immersion or customize your arsenal, we've got you covered. Stay tuned as we dive into the exciting world of Fallout 4 modding. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the latest updates. Now, let the modding adventure begin. First, I would like to introduce you to some gameplay-related mods. In particular, there are some mods that change the factions, and I brought them to show you. First up is Tom's Bruisers, Lightweight Raider Gang Overhaul. This mod improves the small raider gang led by Tower Tom, who is hiding in the Beantown Brewery in the Commonwealth. This mod uses only vanilla content to achieve a vanilla-friendly and clean design. This gang is a small and ambitious gang that tries to take over other gangs, but fails and loses many members. Reflecting this situation, this mod changes the outfits and weapons of this gang and renames the gang to Beantown Bruisers to distinguish them from other gangs. However, this mod directly modifies the level list, outfit records, NPC data, etc. So it may conflict with other mods, so please keep this in mind when configuring and sorting the load order. Next up is Rags Pirates, Lightweight Raider Gang Overhaul. This mod is similar to the previous one, and it improves the crew of FMS North Star, one of the Raider Gangs. They have the concept of arriving at the Commonwealth Coast in a horrible state due to a nuclear explosion. The raiders of FMS North Star are now called North Star Pirates. They were originally Norwegian sailors, but they became ghouls due to a nuclear explosion and chose a life of plundering. North Star Pirates wear fishing clothes to differentiate themselves from regular raiders. They only contact the outside world when they defend their ship or go out to loot. The leader of North Star Pirates, Rags, wears a powerful coastal defense armor. This armor is said to be the rarest and most expensive among the raider's equipment, and the weapons remain the same. These mods use only vanilla content, so they are vanilla-friendly and clean, and they give unique concepts and stories to the gangs. Use these mods to enrich the gangs of the Commonwealth. Next, I would like to introduce you to some animation-related mods. There are several interesting mods related to animation this time. First up is Cautious Third Person Animations Redux. This mod changes the character's third person movement to be more realistic and upgrades the overall animation. It is divided into eight animation files, which support both male and female motions, and you can choose which ones to use depending on the weapon type, such as assault rifle, pistol, sniper, or shotgun. For example, when walking or running with a gun, the character holds the gun close to the body and lowers the head. This mod applies to both male and female characters and is compatible with other animation mods. It is a pretty good mod, so I personally recommend that you try it out. It is actually one of my favorite animation mods, so I hope you will give it a try. Next up is Jetpack Animations. This mod replaces the T-Pose when using jetpacks with animations similar to Cross Jetpack. It adds various jetpack animations for each weapon type, making the jetpack combat more dynamic. For example, if you use a jetpack while wearing an assault rifle, you will bend your right leg and turn your torso to the right, aiming your gun in a jetpack pose. This gives you a more combat-oriented posture and a more realistic feeling. If you enjoy using jetpacks, you should try adding this animation. Next up is Immersive Animation Framework, Alcohol Reanimation. Alcohol Reanimation is a sub-mod for Immersive Animation Framework that alters the animation when you consume alcoholic drinks. In the Vanilla mod, when you drink alcohol, you tilt the bottle and chug it all at once. But with this mod installed, you can either unscrew the cap with your hand and sip, or flick the cap with your hand and drink. This mod not only adds the motion, but also the sound of opening the cap is very cool, and it requires the base mod of Immersive Animation Framework so you have to place it below the mod order of Immersive Animation Framework. Next up is Standing Sneak Redux. This mod is an improvement of Death Sticks's original Standing Sneak mod. This mod makes the character's animation smoother and more natural when sneaking. Next up is Animaru 9's Assault Rifle Idle Animations. 
This animation is a mod that changes the character's posture when holding an assault rifle. This mod has three options to choose from, and it applies to all assault rifles, including the handmade rifle from the Nuka World DLC or the AK-47 M16 style weapons. In this corner, I'm going to introduce you to some weapon-related mods. There are quite a few mods to introduce, so I'll try to go through them quickly. Don't miss anything and follow me closely. First up is 10mm Submachine Gun, Appalachia Flavor. This mod adds the 10mm Submachine Gun from Fallout 76 to the Commonwealth. This mod offers various parts and mods and integrates them into the level list of Gunners, Vendor, Raider, etc. through Rob Kopacha. If you like the Fallout 76 style weapons, you'll love this one too. Next up is Modern Warfare 2022 Lockman Sub and Shroud, HK MP5 and MP5S. This mod adds the HK MP5 and MP5SD submachine guns from another game called Modern Warfare 2022 under the names of Lockman Sub and Lockman Shroud. The Lockman Sub is a fully automatic weapon. While the Shroud is a semi-automatic weapon with a silencer, they have low recoil and decent design. You can also customize them in various ways. So, if you like the weapons from Modern Warfare, give them a try. Next up is the AMR 3000 Anti-Material Rifle Mod. This mod adds a powerful, single-shot makeshift anti-material rifle that can be modified to be semi-automatic or fully automatic. It uses 50 caliber bullets and is integrated into the shops and loot tables. It also appears on gunner snipers, raider bosses, minutemen, and railroad agents. Moreover, it offers various customization options such as seven barrels, six magazines, different scopes, ammo types, flashlight, and more. Next up is the 45 pistol, 1911A1. Another, another millennia mod. This mod adds a new pistol based on the 1911 with custom first-person animations. The animation of holding the pistol with one hand is especially impressive. The sound effects are also excellent. This pistol offers fun and unique attachments and post-apocalyptic options and is added to the level list after level six. You can also find a unique weapon on the roof of a vehicle in the southeast of the Bad Fell office. Next up is Modern Warfare 2022, Cronin Squall General Dynamics R277. This mod adds the Cronin Squall rifle from Modern Warfare to the Commonwealth. It is a very tactical looking assault rifle. The design is quite unique, especially the magazine that is located at the bottom of the stock. It supports custom animations for both first person and third person views, as well as tactical reload. It is a cool rifle that also allows you to attach a SAB comb and a pad, offering various modification options. Next up is MW2 Lockwood 300. This mod adds a shotgun called Lockwood 300 in Fallout 4. Lockwood 300 is based on a real firearm called Browning Satori 725, and it appears as a break-action double-barrel shotgun in MW2. This mod replicates the model, texture, sound, and animation of the gun from MW2022, and also offers some customization options. It supports tactical reload, and it can be crafted at the chemistry station. Next up is the Disruptor. It adds a new Institute weapon that can fire energy bullets with various effects, and the default Tesla barrel shoots directional lightning at enemies. The weapon can also be modified with different barrels to change the firing effects. The gun can be found on synths after level 10, and there is a fixed spawn next to the courser on the top floor of Green Tex. Please keep that in mind. In this corner, I'm going to introduce you to some outfit-related mods. I'm going to show you two mods that I think are worth trying. First up is Handmade Armor. This mod is an armor mod for Fallout 4, created by Kim1983. It allows you to wear additional armor pieces over the Vault-Tec suit and the Vault-Tec swimsuit. So, this mod is not a standalone mod. However, since the Vault-Tec swimsuit is a popular outfit, Handmade Armor gives you more options to customize it. If you like using the Vault-Tec swimsuit, you might also want to check out this mod. You can craft this mod at the chemistry station and modify it at the armor workbench. Next up is Dead Space Security Suit. This mod adds the rig suit from the Dead Space game series to the Commonwealth, and it is an outfit that can be worn by both men and women. It has awesome perks, such as 1000 radiation protection, 
250 ballistic, 100 fire, and energy. And you can find this outfit inside Vault 111, right in front of where you find the Pit Boy. The outfit has an impressive blue glow effect on the helmet, and it also supports a red glow as an optional. In the last corner, I want to introduce you to some visual mods for Fallout 4. I'm going to show you two of them. First up is Very Zen Darker Roads. This mod changes the roads in Fallout 4 to a darker and more cracked texture. You can choose from 4K, 2K, or 1K resolution. And if you use ENB, you can also apply the complex parallax effect. This mod works well with other landscape mods like Vulcan Landscape or Vanilla Landscapes, and it will make the roads in the Commonwealth look much better. Next up is Modern Replacer Laptops. This is a simple but cool mod that replaces the typewriters in Fallout 4 with laptops and military laptops. If you are using the Modern series to replace the meshes, you should also try this one. Thank you for exploring the Commonwealth's vast possibilities with us. We hope you found inspiration for your next Fallout 4 adventure in our showcase of 18 must-have mods that enhance factions, animations, rifles, outfits, visuals, and more. If you enjoyed the video and discovered mods that piqued your interest, remember to show your support by liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. Your journey through the wasteland is just beginning, and these mods are sure to make it legendary. Until next time, happy modding, wasteland wanderers.